What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and welcome to the Boombastic Show. Oh, man, this is a marathon. This is day number four, episode number 13, and I'm excited because in day one, we were on the nine-axis machine, my son Tyson making a crazy titanium part. A YouTube video will follow, and then we will teach you how to make that part on our Aerospace Academy. From there, we went to the five axis, the DVF 6500, made a crazy part, same thing. We got more coming on that. And yesterday, we ran a big old aerospace structure on the NHM 6300 beast machine, getting after it. Boom, like, like just bringing technology, just having fun, you know? The conventions have closed. People have been locked down. Companies have suffered. We've been forced to like lock our doors, right? And uh, things are breaking loose now, but the conventions aren't happening. So let me just let you guys know, we went to our partners and we let them know like, hey, the industry has suffered. So let's give them crazy deals. Like we're not about selling stuff, we're about teaching. But on this week only, because the conventions would have happened right here, let's actually come in and give crazy deals. But instead of walking around a convention, let's actually show crazy machining demos. Let's talk to amazing industry individuals. Let's like give deals and education and just make it happen in a big way. Let's like, let's figure out a name that represents us because we're all about making it happen and boom. And we're like, hey, let's do the boombastic show. So anyway, thank you so much for Everybody watching, thank you for all the support. This has been an insane week. And uh, today, is, is, today we're just gonna step it into a new technology. So I already listed what we did Monday through, through Wednesday. And today we're gonna step into Lays with live tooling. Not just Lays, but crazy Lays, right? You know, I always hear, like when I look at job shops, right? And a lot of them are, they're making parts, but they don't truly understand automation. They don't truly understand the tooling, like the quick change tooling, like the KM system we have in here from Kenna Middle. They don't truly understand how efficient you could be if you actually got the right setup. And if you think about how many hours you put into setup, and you think about the daily grind, I mean, this is a huge amount of time that you can save. And because you're efficient, and the way you do things, and because you take out your setup and you have a certain system in place, you can actually do a favor for your customers because your efficiency will drop your price. It'll allow you to make more money, therefore paying your machinists more money, therefore lifting up your culture, right? And at the same time, you will get consistent work because your customers will know that you're working for them and you, you have what it takes to be a long-term vendor. So today we're gonna show you another form of automation. We're in front of the Puma 2600 SY2. This is an amazing machine. This is an amazing machine. We got two different spindles, chucks. We got the whole setup. We got the parts catcher into the conveyor. This thing, this system is like for lights out machining so you can go home, hang out with your family while you're making money. And uh, to demo how this machine works, we thought, hey, let's actually do a real aerospace connection part, just like we delivered for over a decade to the aerospace industry. Let's make a real part. A real part, and I say real part because those, that is the exact words my boy Travis Jarrett used when he said, hey, this is what I wanna run. I wanna run real parts that matter. And I was like, let's do it, baby, let's do it. So I'd love to have Travis come in. What's up, my brother? Hey, how you doing, man? Ah, uh, so you guys already know, we multitask here, we multitask. So, Travis is my quality manager, but he is also a lathe programming mm -hmm. setup. Boom, all around, great machinist, loves the trade. Piece of the puzzle, man. Piece, Piece of, of the, the puzzle. puzzle, man. We've worked together for years, and uh, even just solving problems for big aerospace companies. Mm -hmm. Like, you were my guy where we were like, you know, boom, boom, boom. Hey, Travis is going to come in, take care of this, take care of that. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, 
Yeah, it was exciting times, man. We got, and we got to take all that, and now we get to turn around, and we get to give some of it back. Exactly. Yeah. You go through it, and therefore you are qualified to speak and to teach because we're here to bring awareness and lift up this industry. Uh, maybe you want to talk a little bit about the part that you're going to make and why it's important. Yeah, okay, so today we're doing the Titan 520, and we do have one here, just so you can kind of see. So this is the part we're going to make. Uh, it, is a, it is something you would see in the aerospace industry, uh, pretty, uh, pretty common. Be, uh, go ahead and yeah, go ahead. Let's show a little bit of... Go ahead. Yeah, you got, you got threads got on the that. inside. Speak to it a little bit. Threads yep. on the inside, so you got outside. Threads on the outside. We have threads on the inside. We have a hex going around right here. And we have some safety wire holes going around that hex. So yep. you'll definitely see that in the industry. All right, stainless yeah. 316, again, another common material you're going to see in this kind of part. And, and there's actually a print, and it, you're going off an AS spec, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, for sure. So, you know, we, that's another thing we're going to be teaching on is sometimes it's just a spec, and you have to go get the spec, and it gives you your dimensions. It's not just a thread. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a certain taper for that O-ring. There's certain specs and depths that you have to follow. And these are the things that you actually do when you actually work for these big aerospace companies or general engineering. I mean, fittings, yes. fittings are throughout the world, right? Yeah, a lot of standards, exactly. They, they basically cover all the specs for that feature that you have to follow in order to make a good part. Awesome. Yeah. So you are going to go over, we're going to go over the tooling, yeah. and then you're going to actually cut chips. Yeah, you're sure. actually going to take a raw piece of 316 stainless there it is. and make that part. Yes, we are. We make these fittings out of 316 stainless, titanium, mm -hmm. and ink canal. Those are the three standard materials uh, used when doing this. And because we run a lot of titanium and a lot of ink canal, we thought, hey, 316 would be a great, because we haven't really ran that much 316. Yeah. No, for sure. It would be cool. a good example. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, so now you guys know what the project is. Uh, let's talk about the machine a little bit. And to do that, I'm going to bring in my man Lars. All right? All right Travis, good. I'll yeah. see you in just a For minute, sure, brother. Man. Cool. Lars, how are you, yeah. brother? Good. Oh, yeah, so, good. so, so, Lars, Salt Lake City, baby. Yes, sir. Salt Lake. Yeah. Like serving the industry up there. Yeah. Making forever. it, making it yeah. happen. That's right. Distributing Doosan. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. so good. Um, one of the things that I love about Lars is like, when I go to other countries, I've been fortunate to meet great manufacturers. And I, I love seeing like, third, I, go to, I go to Blazer and they're like third generation company, right? Go over to Manfred at, uh, you know, Manfred in um, Switzerland and he's got a seventh generation company. And I'm like, you know, you don't totally see that here in the United States, right? But you, what do you guys have? Like a third gen right I'm now? I'm fourth, yeah. Fourth You're gen. fourth? Yep. When did you guys start your company? 1927. 1927. Yes, boom, boom, boom. Still rolling. Yep. Didn't even have phones back then. You had to take a train to go make your sales calls. Yeah. <laughs> I love it because they've been in business. And, and he, this yeah. guy's smooth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he just comes in, he just communicates, solves problems, and uh, just a great guy in the trade and stuff. So I thought, you know Thanks, what, sir. Lars, why don't you actually come in here? Look right at the camera, look at all the viewers out there, and just explain what this machine is and why it's important. Yeah, you got it, no problem. Thanks, man. So, like you always says, this is a beast machine. Most Dusons are, uh, all Dusons are, I would argue, to be honest. But, uh, so, beast machine, boxway, heavy duty. We have this lineup from a little bit smaller to 24 inch giant chucks, Y axis, cutting all, all that good stuff. So. This machine uh, is a Puma 2600SY, so that means it has a sub-spindle with live tooling and off-center axis rotation on your turret. So some of the cool things about this machine are, are basically that. You can get off-center, and you can see with this part there, you're doing hexes, you're doing off-center holes. Like, like Titan says, reducing setups. We are all about helping our customers reduce setups because that is how, like he said, you get better. And that is where the industry is going, is because you can't spend time not cutting chips. You need to keep your spindle running. So a machine like this helps you do that. And how it does it is, you're pulling in the material through the main spindle, you got a sub spindle, right? So you got 6,000 RPMs on the main, to, excuse me, 4,000 RPMs on the main to let it rip, get those big heavy cuts. And you can do that with machine because it's totally box ways, right? So really rigid, really like, like Titan loves to say, beast mode. This is a beast mode machine, right? And then you got a sub spindle over here. So what this does, this will come and pick up your already machined part from the front side, pick it up, you get a little bit more RPMs here because that part's gonna be a little bit smaller because you've already cut it on this side, right? So you need a little bit more R's on this side. So it's gonna pick that up and it's gonna come back and it's gonna start cutting that backside. And so when that thing's done, what it's gonna do, it's got a little catcher here, comes up, picks it up, 
drops it right in the, the standard conveyor, and your parts are just going to kind of slide out there in every one of those. So I like, I almost kind of like refer to it as an ATM. Every time you hear that clunk, ba boom, and it comes out, it's money in your pocket, man. So that's where we're headed here. Um, the other cool thing about this machine is the turret. So the turret is all live tooling, so you can cut actual mill parts. You can actually mill your parts with this machine. And the beauty is you actually, they actually have figured out a way that they make that turret 24 stations, right? So every station can actually offset using that Y-axis and cut with a different tool. So with that, again, again, reducing setups, getting more tools in your part. Get, get, so really helping, the, helping you become more efficient. Um, so, you know, 6,000 RPMs on the live tool holder. So that's a lot of R's, right? You can really, you can really get after some parts. You can really, you know, this is a pretty, you know, flat part like this, but you see all kinds of, of uh, contours and shapes and all kinds of amazing things. You can really almost make anything with this machine. Um, automatic tool setter, it's great. So you've got all these nice features in the control that uh, allow you to monitor what's going on inside there because if that door opens, you stop making money, right? So you want to be able to see what's going on in this control. And this, mach this machine has all that. It's got automatic tool, set, tool settings, so you can come check tools. It's got tool load management, so things like that. You can, you can actually see what your, what your tool is doing without opening the door. It'll tell you right here on the control. It's in that cut. Oh, it's starting to draw more load. Okay, that tool's getting dull. I need, to, I need to know when to change it. And if you're tracking all that stuff, again, that goes back to Titan's thing with efficiency, right? We get efficient. We know, okay, I can get 400 parts off this tool. So I... I so I start tracking all that, and again, that's that efficiency. That's that less changeover, less time that door open, more money's coming out of this machine. So that's really what we preach about it. So I, I, I love what he has to say about this stuff. Um, I love the, ch the shunk chucks. I mean, they're quick change chucks, huge, you know, huge advantage for changeovers. Again, my, go my goal is to help people, you know, not with, with a great machine, reduce setup times, get your chips coming off the machine faster, better, more more money in your pocket, like you said. That's what we're here for. So, did I miss anything? No, that's, that's about great, it. Man. Yeah, that's great. So, you know, I love that he talked about the tool management. We actually have a video on YouTube that actually explains it. We uh, we were talking about the machine. Somebody was asking how they use it. They had the machine, but they didn't understand. So we made a video on that tool management. It's, and it's important because you can actually, as as Lars said, you can actually set the parameters on that pressure. So as you're running lights out machining, it can actually go and when it hits a certain point, it'll actually either stop or grab another tool to run in its place so that you can keep running safely and keep those tolerances. Running lights out doesn't even matter if you're running scrap. So we wanna make sure that we dial in the process, make sure that everything's documented, we understand the tool life of every single tool, every insert, and we follow the protocol and uh, and we just set up for success. So, Lars, thank you so much, man. man. Boom, and that, we will see you a little bit later little bit. in the day. All right, so, boom, B set up. As Lars said, it's all about the, it, you have the machine, but then you also have the, the, the chuck right here. It's gotta be nice and heavy on duty. Uh, we, what, one thing you see over here is we have a three jaw but we have a six jaw over here. Why do we have a six jaw as a second spindle? Because over here we're grabbing raw material, but on this time, on this side, we always have, sometimes we have thin walled parts. Some, we have to keep everything nice and neat and we don't wanna to put too much pressure on specific points of it. So a six jaw allows us to cut soft jaws and encompass the entire parts. We can hold it perfectly to finish it off and uh yeah amazing setup so before i bring travis in i just want to remind everybody deals 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 this machine is that machines like this 65 different models from Doosan is 25 to 30 percent off they've never done anything remotely close like not even remotely close but we ask them to come and do something incredible for our community and they came to the table whether it comes to the work holding from shunk um, blazer coolant um, master cam what we use to program this bad boy can of metal there's deals for everybody and all you have to do is go to 
www.titansofcnc.com backslash promo and you can see all the deals this week. Incredible deals happening. All right, Travis. Woo, what's right. up, man? Yeah, how you doing? It's like yesterday we were running some crazy titanium live. I don't know if people really understood, like, you know, you gotta have your process dialed and you gotta have a lot of confidence to actually run live. So, For sure. you know, yesterday we were running titanium, today we are running 316 stainless. What's cool is he's running a complete part. He's yeah. running the part here, he's running the part here, he's taking out a finished part. And again, we're gonna teach you every tool, every speed and feed and all of it. Yeah. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the tooling. Uh, go ahead and uh, talk a little about, about the holders, mm -hmm. the quick change, different things. Um, you got a nice drill that's gonna be going through. Yeah. It's, one of, it's a beast drill yeah, too. Yeah, SQL drill. I'm especially yeah. for stainless. So go yes. ahead and uh, look right there at the yeah. camera and let them know. For sure. Yeah, now like uh, Titan mentioned, like Lars mentioned, I think the one thing that we really like about this machine and this setup in, in general is it's quick, right? You'll see a lot of quick change options. So we have this KM tooling right here. You can see we have dual tooling right here, we can change these out, right? This turn tool, this is a VNMG, this can come out, a CNMG can go right in. And as you kind of go around, you see we got a dual holder up here, that really allows us versatility, we can machine in the front, we can machine in the back. Um, as they mentioned, we do have the SQL drill up there, we have a Harvey 2 end mill we're gonna use to cut a hex in the back. Um, like I say, this thing has a lot of tools in it going all the way around, forward and backwards, and we like it. We go to another job, really quick to turn that around. Um, also, again, we do have the chucks that they did mention. We do have these quick jaw, quick change. Uh, this is the Rota THW. We can pull these jaws right out, change the diameter, new bar stock, easy change out. And again, like they mentioned, we got the six jaw back here. Good for thin walls, also good for a lot of surface contact. So I like it. I think we're running. Huh? SGL. SGL, I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. S SGL. SGL. Yeah. I know SGL because I actually run SGL. SGL is Kenna Metal's, uh, a drill that Kenna Metal has, and uh, it is a beast drill in stainless. Like, nothing can beat that drill. It's incredible. It's a carbide drill, coolant through, all that, and it's great for these setups. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go into crazy um, productions and stuff, you can go to an indexable drill, uh, but that drill right there is absolutely amazing. It runs good too, you can see it. Yeah, when I say indexable, I mean Ken Tip FS, best drill for cutting stainless. You just change the tip out, but for a solid carbide, you guys are gonna see it. It's yeah, gonna make it happen. For sure. Uh, you got some KM 40s, you got some 50s. Yeah. You're using a variety, maybe you can explain and a little bit like, how does it how does it work? How do you take take them out? What is the quick change all about? Uh, all right, so yeah, so we do have the KM tooling. So our static holders, basically our non-rotating tools are all KM50, a little more robust. Now right here on the side, right here, you just take it out with an Allen wrench uh, and this tool pops right out. So you just loosen that up, this pops right out, and another pops right back in. Now when it comes to uh, tightening it, you probably wanna use a torque wrench, right? Make sure it's secured nice and well. Um, our Driven tools are our KM40s. They're a little bit smaller, but they allow us to get in and do all of our milling operations. Cool. So, what about, hey, hey, we've talked enough. How about we just make some chips? Yeah, yeah, let's make we got some. We got some cameras uh, set in, and uh, what, maybe uh, let's just run it. And for the love of the game, let's actually allow it to cut. And then just kind of talk us through the process as it's cutting. Go ahead and just be like, all right, now we're facing, yeah. now we're turning, now we're drilling. Boom, 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 go through. Again, we will have a YouTube video come out. It'll have every single tool listed, every single like service foot, chip load, depth of cut. We're gonna give you all the knowledge to duplicate this process in a highly efficient way so you can like just put it, like bank that information and use it in your own shop, all right? So I'm gonna walk out all and right. cut some chips. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. Step by step through the whole process. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna shut the door. All right, so we're gonna start up. Top of our program right here. So you can give me a little exhaust. All right, just give me a little exhaust and here we go. All right, so it's gonna pull up a rougher. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna face the part. It's gonna come across, it's gonna face. Now it's gonna turn the OD.
All right, you can see we're turning down. You can hear the chips breaking. All the way to those jaws, but not quite. Beautiful. It cuts really well too. Those KM50, KM50 tool holders are nice and rigid. They're nice and short. Now here comes our SGL drill. SGL, <laughs> SGL drill. SGL. So this is the coolant through. It's gonna come up. High pressure is gonna kick on. We are gonna go down, it's 2.2 inches down. And it's done. done. And it's done, like that quick, boom. That was a synchronized done, I like that, it was good. Yeah, no. All right, so we're gonna come in here, we're gonna cut a little undercut for our thread. Our first tool is a CNMG, so you can't get to all that, so we're gonna come up with a VNMG, we're gonna cut this little undercut out. Now we're gonna come up, we're gonna go ahead and finish the outside of the part. Now it is stainless 316. Sometimes you can see you will get, sometimes you'll get some chip wrap up. It's something you're gonna watch. Now if it sticks to the part, I'll probably reach in there and I'll take it off before I cut my thread. All right, so it's finishing the OD right now. I'll let it ride. It's gonna go ahead and cut the ID. Go ahead, we're finishing the ID right now. One pass. All right, now we're gonna come up. Let's see, looks clean. All right, we're gonna come in, we're gonna cut our OD thread. Thread's cut, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on this thread. I'm gonna try to clean up some of the burr. I'll just come over the top of it and then I'll cut the thread one more time. All right. Like I say, one more pass through the threads, make sure we're good. Now it's gonna come up after this, it is gonna stop and I am gonna wanna check my thread here. All right. Our moment of truth, so to speak. This is, a, this is the perfect time for a plug. Oh no, go ahead. Good. Thread go, gauge it's goes on. Explain exactly right. what you're doing. So we got a thread ring gauge, all right? So you can use a pitch mic to bring in your threads and stuff like that, but you wanna check with the ring gauge. That's gonna check the full profile of that thread. You wanna make sure that goes on nice. And on this part in particular, you wanna make sure it goes all the way to the shoulder, which as you can see, it does. Now, when taking these thread ring gauges off, be careful. You have a cone surface right here. There's a surface finish requirement on there and you don't wanna ding that surface. Just important is the go gauge is the no go gauge. Explain what you actually did right there. So, and the no go gauge, obviously you want the go gauge to go all the way down, hit the shoulder. The no go gauge you do not want to go. So it, it'll start, but it shouldn't go on the thread. All right. So this part looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna transfer it. So that's where we're gonna come in. We're gonna come in with our second chuck, right? We're gonna come down. We're gonna grab this part. We're gonna pull out the stock. It's gonna come in with a part off tool. It's gonna part, the, it's gonna part it off. It's gonna take it back to the other side to do the second off. You ready? Yep, yeah. I'm excited. So two operations at the same time.
All right, so now you will see it's gonna align the spindles right here. That's important for us. This is a round part, it doesn't matter so much, but if you were grabbing like a hex, you can align those spindles so you can grab a more complex shape. All right, now it's gonna open the main chuck. It's gonna pull the part out to length. It's gonna leave me a little bit of material for a second op on that side, and leave me a little bit of material to face the next, uh, the next part for first op. As you can see, it's a little tight in there. Okay, it's parting off, getting to the center. Here we go. Now it's gonna pull the part back over here. Gonna send our turret home. Stops, so and now we're ready to go ahead and we're ready to do the second op. Now as you can see, we're gonna come to the other side now. There's our little bit of material we left. All right, now we're gonna come in here. We're gonna rough out the ID. Now this is gonna chirp just a little bit. Little less rigid, we had to use a steel bar here. Personally, I like to use a steel bar when I'm roughing, especially on an ID. You can use a carbide bar, it's gonna give you a little more rigidity, but sometimes chips will get packed up in there and you can risk breaking the bar. So now we're roughing out that whole inner profile. So this is kind of like what Titan said, right? There's a standard for this feature right here. So we're basically, we're cutting a rough profile and getting that uh, ID ready for the thread. So it is roughing, we do do a lot of work with that bar. You just kinda wanna watch your insert. All right, now we're gonna come, now we're gonna start finishing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the front face of this hex right here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna finish the ID. Now this right here, this is our carbide bar. So it's sticking out a little bit, but we really wanted to utilize this. These carbide bars have through coolant. I really wanted to utilize that. So that bar is sticking out just a little bit. Um, you can either get rid of some of the back of that bar if you want to stub it up a little bit, or perhaps you can make another back where that bar can slide a little deeper into the tool work. All right, again, I'm gonna watch those threads or watch that build up on the chip. <clears throat> Really, I had it stop right here. I just want to make sure that inside here is nice and clean with regards to chips before I run that ID threader. Which it is, nice and clean. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the ID thread. Now on this thread, I'm gonna do something similar to what I did on the OD thread there. I'll do a little cleanup, I'll do a quick pass on the ID, then I'll run the threads one more time.
All right, we'll go ahead and run the threads one more time. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. The gauge will go through. And again, we'll wanna, I'm gonna stop it here and check that thread. Threads are probably the trickiest feature on this part that you really wanna watch. Okay, second moment of truth. All right, again, so now this is an internal thread, right? So the external threads, we got these ring gauges right here. Internal threads, we have a plug gauge right here. So same idea, right? We have a go, that's gonna wanna go inside the thread and go all the way down, and the no-go doesn't go, we hope. Now you will get taper in your thread sometimes depending on the tool you're using. This is a nice solid carbide bar, so we won't see very much of it, hardly at all. But if you are using something like steel or something like that, you may want to watch out for taper. All right, go is good. No go doesn't go. <clears throat> okay, so that basically wraps up the turning portion of our uh, of our part right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna utilize the live tooling part of this lathe, and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mill the hex and put some safety wire holes in. All right, so we're gonna come in here. This is our Harvey two. Gonna come in and it's gonna use a combination of X and C. So as you can see, we're turning. So we're turning that, that's our C axis right there where our chuck is turning. And it's also moving an X at the same time to cut those flats. So right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rough around it. We'll leave a nice little I think about five thou per side for a finish pass. So again, like I say, it's a nice combination between X and C, which you can kind of see up here. You hear it speed up. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a nice light finish pass. Now one thing you wanna be aware of really on any, on any lathe where you got two, uh, two chucks, two spindles, um, it does get pretty tight back there with clearance, so you wanna pay close attention when you're loading tools. All right, now we're gonna do our safety wire holes. So we're gonna come in with an end mill. This is a Harvey One. We're gonna come in, we're gonna cut a little flat for our drill. It's an awkward surface, right? You don't wanna come in with a drill, you'll skip right off that hex. So we gotta give a nice, we're gonna put a little countersink really for our drill. Now one thing that you do wanna be careful here too, these are small end mills, all right? So you really wanna watch and make sure that you put all your countersinks in. Sometimes, you know, I mean, these tools get worn out, they will break. And if you don't have countersinks, that drill will skip off and it'll break too. All right, everything looks good, countersinks are there. We're gonna go ahead, now we're gonna run through, put our safety wire holes. It's gonna go and it's gonna drill right through. Now we did put these drills and our end mill here in some, uh, some hydro chucks, some hydraulic chucks, which is nice. It gives some good concentric hold on the tooling and it gave us a little bit of projection or extension on the tool that we needed to get to the part and allow you know, for clearance issues. All right. Hydroforce. Hydroforce, yeah. All right, there she is. Woo, Hard. beautiful, man. Yeah. Go ahead and take mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, for sure. Chips from the first stop. All 
All right, and there we are. So we turned it, we milled it. All right, oh, turned it. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so, so there we are, right? I mean, I think, uh, like I said, the greatest thing about this machine, the setup and everything, is that we get basically the parts done, right? We, we put in, we had raw stock, and it came out, you know, turned it, milled it, and there, there she is. Oh, sure. beautiful. So, again, this is a real part you actually saw putting in and checking all the threads, make sure, making sure everything is absolutely perfect. Uh, last week, last week, we've been... Uh, Working hard. Yeah. You've been here like through the weekend mm -hmm. uh, setting this thing up. And uh, this is the first time you've been on the machine. What do you think about the machine? Oh, I, I like this machine a lot. Like I say, it gives us, uh, um, they talked about, you know, the 24 stations. You know, I'm looking forward to kind of utilizing that too yep. and getting as many tools on there as can. It's versatile, right? Yep. It, it really reduces the need for extra setups. And any, anytime you can do that, I mean, you're winning, right? I, I like it. She's robust. She's nice. I like the live tooling options, 5,000 RPMs. Awesome. I dig it. I like the, the quick change tooling from Canna Metal, the KM40 and KM50. A lot of people don't know, like, uh, there's, you know, there's other tooling systems where they just, they pull back, right? And if you ever make a mistake, that thing doesn't go anywhere and you, you, you really can mess up your machine, mess up your turret and stuff. So um, not only is the KM40 and KM50 just incredible quick change tooling that allows you to just change out tools in like a seconds instead of we like... We have a really good video, right? If you look at uh, our tutorial chain, uh, loadout video, right? Yep. Where we used all that KM tooling and stuff like that and really show you uh, how fast you can change those tools. How fast it is and yeah. stuff. And, uh, and then it's just incredibly rigid. And if you do bump it, it just disengages, doesn't hurt your machine. And uh, I love that aspect of it. Uh, real parts, 316 stainless, making it happen. Sure. Boom. So you, you ran just a few parts, mm -hmm. that's it. We just set the job up. A couple things that I'll, I'll mention is that if you look at a chuck, is it you got it, just a couple pointers. If you look at a chuck, make sure that your chuck is the perfect chuck to allow the parts ejector to still work. Not all chucks have that opening where the part ejector mm -hmm. can come out true. right through it, right? So you might be just thinking chuck and you don't actually understand that uh, you could like just smother that parts ejector, which would cut off your ability to actually use the, the conveyor, conveyor and stuff. Like and stuff. So yeah. another thing would be sometimes when you're pushing tools in and it's stringing up, maybe you need a little bit more feed. You know, sometimes people want to back off and they start getting these stringy chips where if you go a little bit more, you can actually break them off into nice small chips. So um, somebody like Travis now, we're gonna go into production on this. He'll probably run just a few more. Just dial in every mm -hmm. single tool so that you can walk away from it and never have to blow it, never have to do anything. There's a lot of little tricks in the Absolutely. trade yeah. to actually get rid of those chips, sending in other tools, you know, backspinning, doing, there's different things you can do to make sure that the part is always clean in there. And we'll be teaching on all aspects. Absolutely. Travis, you did an amazing job. Oh, thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank Ooh, you. inspection, Machine. lathe, <laughs> setup, boom. I'm so proud of my team and uh, incredible. Uh, another thing I want to say is Gerstner. How's this, how's this like Gerstner toolbox? Doosan, got the blue felt in here. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Company's been around for well, almost like a century, right? It's, it's an incredible uh, company. Uh, they make these to all the workers in Ohio. The workmanship is on point. You guys did an amazing job. And Doosan is giving one of these toolboxes away with every purchase of a machine this week. It's an incredible deal. And uh, at this point, I'm gonna bring back in Mr. Dave Cox. We'll step away and you're gonna talk deals, 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 baby. You know it, all right. All right, all right brother. Hey, great job, guys. So <clears throat> that turning demo was insane. I mean, looking at the turning plus the live tooling, all that kind of stuff, it's pretty incredible. So let's get straight to it, all right? We did a giveaway at the end of the show yesterday. We said, hey, Everybody on YouTube is saying, what about us? Facebook Live's getting all the love. We have to, we watch this afterwards and we don't get any love on the giveaways. So we did a giveaway on YouTube yesterday and the winner of that giveaway is Keith Black. All right, Keith Black. And what we asked you guys to do was give us some stories about how the, how the YouTube channel has helped you, how we might have you know, helped increase your abilities, that kind of thing. And Keith Black actually in the United Kingdom, right? So it's global. 
Keith Black said, this channel's helped me get back into engineering as at one point I was ready to change my career path. But watching the videos and looking through the academy has gotten the love for this industry back. I've been given modeling projects to do at home in 3D print for showing customers rather than spending weeks machining full-size parts to win contracts. So people are actually taking what we're doing on the YouTube channel, they're learning it, they're understanding it, and they're making money with it to feed their family, all right? So congratulations, Keith Black. You won on YouTube. And what you're gonna do is look for a message from our girl Shaney, all right? Everybody say hi to Shaney in the comments here on, uh, on Facebook. She's gonna go ahead and get in touch with you about how to go ahead and get your prize. All right, we're standing in front of the Puma, in front of the Dusans, and these machines, as Titan mentioned, are 25 to 30% off right now. This is an America-only promo, so North and South America, and all these machines are in stock, ready to ship. So what I do wanna tell you, though, is when you go to titansfordusan.com and you put in your info, even if you're not in North and South America, if you're in India, if you're in the UK, fill out that form, and Dusan's gonna have somebody get in touch with you because they wanna earn your business. All right. They want to make sure that you get some kind of a deal, you get some kind of a special, so that you can jump into one of these machines. And if you're not ready to jump into a Puma right away, don't forget we have the Leo 1600 in our training package. So a company can grab that for under 50 grand and put it on their floor and go through our rocket series and really start to understand how lathes work and how they might be able to benefit your business and your customers. Then you jump into a Puma. All right. Speaking of the free custom Gerstner, so Titan mentioned when you buy a machine, you get a Gerstner. It's pretty incredible. These things are handmade, beautiful craftsmanship. I mean, these things are, they're insane. I mean, it's heirloom level quality, right? So people are taking these, they're handing them down through generations. It's a hundred year old company and I'm sure some of the original ones are still out there being handed down and being maintained. So that's one way to get it. The other way is when you go to titansforduson.com and you fill out that interest form, you're automatically entered into their raffle to win this custom Gerstner. That's pretty sweet. These things are thousands of dollars, so that's no joke. All right, so check out titansforduson.com. Blazer, all the coolant we saw in there, right? It's beautiful. You can see right through it when the tools stop cutting and the, the coolant stops flooding, you can see exactly what's going on. You're not looking through milk you're not sitting there trying to go, what the heck's going on with my thing? And I'll tell you, as beautiful as it is, it smells just as good. There is no stink from this stuff. I mean, the Synergy 735 is incredible, right? So it's clear, it's odor free, it doesn't affect your skin, all that thing. And Blazer right now is doing their free liquid tool analysis. So they wanna come in and help you understand which coolant, which cutting oil, which grinding oil is right for your specific application and the parts that you're creating, the tooling you're using, the material you're cutting, and they wanna make sure that you have somebody on staff, on, on site, there to help you get exactly what you need. It's not always Synergy 735, most of the time it is. They have other products as well they are gonna be perfect for you. And with that free liquid tool analysis, they're gonna come in and they're gonna help you with that entire thing, absolutely free. They wanna earn your business. They wanna come in and be a partner, all right? So that's Blazer. They're also doing 20% off all their coolants, cutting oils, grinding oils, all that kind of stuff, and 20% off the cleaners and accessories. So you're gonna to go to blazer.com slash boombastic to get those promos. Make sure you guys are following us on all of our social accounts, right? So we're here on, on Facebook, we're on Facebook Live, we're on Facebook Stories, we're all over Facebook, we have a Facebook private group, we're on YouTube, we've got uh, Instagram, we have LinkedIn, and actually coming up on Instagram, we're gonna be doing a giveaway, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. These guys were just cutting with Kenna Metal Tools, right? You heard them talk about the Harvey One, I believe. Harvey Two, Harvey two all those things. <laughs> the special right now is on the Harvey One TE, the Core Five, and the Harvey Three. Forty-one dollars for three-eighths inch end mills, fifty-six dollars for half-inch end mills, and the high-performance drills, right? The HPX, SGL, and HPR series right now are buy three get two free. And all you got to do to get that one is use the code SGL one nine two zero when you're checking out there. So you can go to titansofcnc.com slash promo to get more info on that. What good is cutting metal if you can't hold your workpiece, right? And so these Shunk THW plus Chuck packages are on sale right now, 20% off all those. And that's a, that's a significant savings, okay? So Shunk is coming up, really come to, the, come to bat with that. Um, you're gonna find that deal at titansofcnc.com slash promo. 
and we're using the Impact Series Claw Jaws. They're doing 30 days. Try them if you don't like them, send them back. So no risk guarantee on that one. Now, coming up right after this feed ends. So as soon as this feed ends on Facebook Live, go find us over on Instagram in our Instagram stories. That's instagram.com slash Titans of CNC, or when you go to the thing, just go at Titans of CNC, and we're gonna show you guys how to get a cool giveaway through Instagram. All right, that's what I have. Titan's gonna come up and let us know what's going on next. Oh, thank you, Dave. Boom. So, hey, I'm excited. We're on day number four, episode number 13. We're on the home stretch, and we keep bringing new technology to the table and making real parts that matter. And uh, next episode, episode number 14, will be in just over an hour. We'll come live again, and we'll talk through the process. We'll get a little bit more intimate with the tooling and the programming strategies, and we will uh, bring some new things to the table. So join us in about an hour, and uh, it's, it's about lifting your skills your mental aptitude for, for all of it and just opening your mind to the possibilities. You know, a lot of people wanna say, hey, you know, we're doing it a certain way. And I'm saying that's not good enough. You wanna keep your work in this on our shores, then you need to excel on a daily basis. You need to rise to greatness. You need to inspire your employees. We need to get excited about this trade and excited about cutting chips efficiently. And we need to look and say, hey, we got to take a real look at ourselves and say, what it, what, where am I running? Am I running at 20, 30 percent? No wonder I'm struggling. No wonder I'm stressed. No wonder my employees aren't getting paid a certain amount of money, right? And for the employees, you need to actually be pillars in your company to help the owner who's over there like making it happen to help that person make money. And you make money by looking at tools and the proper equipment and then programming them. Buying them isn't good enough. You need to look in intimately at how to program them efficiently, how to run lights out, how to, how to have one person run six machines, but you pay that one person great money so he can take care of, he or she can take care of their families. That's what it's about. We're not here just to sell things. We're here to lift up the trade and give you information. And we're gonna give you more information on the next live episode in just over an hour, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Boom, I'm out. Love you, love this trade. Oh, uh, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And it's episode number 14, the fourth day. It is a marathon and I'm excited because we got some crazy teaching happening. And we got deals, deals, deals. But let me just, let me just back up a minute. Our last episode, we actually went through the setup and the process and we actually, my boy Travis, made this beautiful part right here. Nice, beautiful port, nice threads. Checked them, go, no, go, checked it, go, put these little holes in, made it absolutely beautiful. And this is an actual part. It's an aerospace fitting. And uh, we will follow up with a YouTube video giving you all the specifications, the, the surface foot, the chip load, the tools, uh, exactly what tools they were, giving you the whole process. We will also put it on our academy because this is a real part. The greatest thing about this industry is that there's a billion of different parts that go onto submarines and rockets and everything in between. I always tell people if there wasn't CNC machining, uh, we basically would be still stuck in the woods. I won't say it, but you know what I mean? We wouldn't have anything because uh, manufacturing makes it all happen and stuff. So anyway, beautiful part. Uh, this episode, we're gonna actually go through the process. We're gonna run another part and we're gonna go through the programming of this part. We want to really give you the skills and the mental aptitude to understand the process of actually making this part, all right? Uh, before we get uh, started, and we're gonna run another part also, but before we get into that, I just wanted to bring back Lars. Lars, what's up, brother? Yes, sir, man, what's happening? Super cool, right? Sometimes I just like to slow down because at the end of the day, it's about the 
heart. It's about the surface finish. And I'm, I'm even like, I don't even want to get my fingerprints on it. It's so beautiful, right? But it's about the part that you make and that's how you will be judged and the efficiency. You were talking about the machine? Yes, sir. Machine ran flawless. Yeah, of course. Beautiful, Yeah. beautiful. So um, what do you think? I think that's a pretty good part. I don't. I don't know that I should touch it. I might drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to. That's the inside <laughs> joke. We won't. We, we won't talk about yeah. that. But no, if you look at it, you see this is what this is what we're talking about with the machine, right? You got the big heavy box ways, the beast machine. So the surface finish is just beautiful. The threads are perfect, um, and that, that's a little drill. You got to have, even though it's a little drill, you got to have some rigidity behind it, right? Because that thing's going to want to move on. It's going to want to walk, go all over the place. So that's why you put even little stuff on beast machines that makes your life easier, makes your parts better, and it makes them just beautiful. That's yeah, a good I love. Part. I love how Travis was talking through the process and uh, how sometimes you bring an end mill in on that angle so it doesn't slip off and you create a surface that your drill can actually go straight in. End mill needs to be a hair larger, just a hair larger. And sometimes they even come in and if, if they're, they're the same size, I'll just do a little helical down in there, boom, bring that drill in and it just makes a perfect hole and stuff. So uh, that's what it's about. So you know what I think is cool too, and the way you get this Y axis here is, if you saw how he cut it, he actually used your C axis and, and, and your, and your, um, and your uh, oh crap. It's anyway, <laughs> so you can use Y, right? You could come in here and just use the Y axis to cut this, but that's not what he did because that's what's so cool about this machine, the flexibility of being able to cut the part any different way, whatever is the most efficient, whatever is gonna get you the part the fastest and the best. And that's why he used the contouring feature with the C axis to cut it as opposed to Y axis because he can get a better surface finish doing it that way and he can do it faster. So that's just you know why these machines are so amazing anymore is that the flexibility that they lend to, to how you wanna make your part and how you wanna make it faster and better. Awesome. And what you know what's cool too? Is uh, he actually, and it, just, just like Lars said, you're, you're keeping the tool more rigid. You're not using the bottom of it and, and it'll, it'll last a lot longer. But what's cool is that we actually looked at the application and we made an adjustment. We haven't tested it, but we almost doubled the surface foot and the chip load. So we're gonna go a little bit faster now. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how the numbers on spec out, but that's what you do. You run a couple parts, you're like, you hear something, hey, let's put a little bit more pressure on it. Let's see if we can do this and that. And it's continuous improvement. It's an obsession for perfection. Um, this machine, machines this exact size, like we, we make parts this big, make parts this big, put in big pie jaws, make parts this big, you know? So there's such a variety of different parts you know, it's basically whatever you can think up, whatever you can tool up, you can actually do so long it fits in that work envelope, beautiful machine. So now I'm excited because I'm actually going to close my mouth. I'm gonna actually, Lars and I are gonna step away. Travis, what's up brother? He's gonna step back in. Our boy Dylan from Mastercam, he's gonna step in. How are you, brother? Good to see you again. Dylan, well, awesome, right? I mean, he's been helping us all three days. Everything, like, you don't want to program at the machine. I know people will argue with me, but I want green lights. I want chips, chips to be turning, it, making chips, making it happen. So we got to make sure that our Mastercam program is perfected in the programming stage so we can just take it, put it on here, tool up, zero up, dry run and run, boom, no problem. So they're gonna actually talk to you about the strategy and they're actually gonna make another part right now, boom, boom. How's it going, Dylan? Good, good. Yeah. All right, well here's our program. Like I say, we use Mastercam to make the part. Uh, I was really happy with the efficiency of the software, right? It really helped me kind of get through the process, so. Yeah, and obviously, we're looking at this machine, and this is a little bit less intimidating than, say, the, uh, the 3100 that we featured on day one. Um, we've got a bit smaller enclosure, though. We've still got the same complexity in terms of a uh, lot of tools on here, front side, back side of the turret. Um, we've got custom soft jaws on the subspindle. Um, so we're actually still using Mastercam mill turn for all of this. This is all fully modeled, all the models of the uh, the uh, soft jaws and the tooling are in there so that we can get that in our simulation 
and we've got the confidence to run this before we ever go out to the machine. Definitely makes me feel a little better, right? You know? yeah. So well, let's go ahead and uh, we can run, run apart as we kind of talk about the programming. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right, so again, like I said, she should just pretty much run now on points. So we come down, basic facing off, you know, so. So we've got the software up on the screen as well here, and we've got the programming on the left-hand side, and then we've got the simulation window up on the right-hand side, just sitting at the, the facing up here. But these are the two environments that you're looking at here. So when you actually run this on the machine, what's the most intimidating part to, to run? Well, for sure on this is definitely gonna be the part transfer, right? So, I mean, that's where we have, that's that's our tightest spot, right? We have our, we have our second chuck coming in, our spindles moving in. We have to sneak in there with that part off tool. So for me, uh, the mill turn application really made that really easy, right? I had to click on one button, it populated, I think, 13 ops it was or something, basically. It yeah, helps sort of ops. aligns the jaws if I need it, sinks the jaws, brings everything in, grabs it, pulls it out, parts it off, goes back, sends the turret home. Maybe I missed one or two in there kind of thing. <laughs> but but for me, that, that relieves some of my anxiety, right? That's by far the scariest part is moving from here to here. And so Mastercam really kind of came in and made that a, a simple process. And that's just a couple of clicks to do that yeah. pick off cut off. No, exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Even though it was 13 ops, really you just kind of click on the one, right? And just kind of fill out the, yeah. put in my data values and there's my code. So we're able to do that because we have this in-depth knowledge of the machine and we've got the modeling of all the components and we've got this really visual programming going on so that we can see exactly what's going to happen before we ever come out to this machine and hit go. So we're finishing up that op right now, let's see, turning some OD. Yeah, we're cutting thread. Kind of nice, right? Breaks down all our operations, right? So we have our tool group one, we have our part transfer, have our tool group two. Like being able to see everything here. And the, the CAD model is automatically moved to the sub spindle for the part transfer. We're not creating extra models and determining where that has to fall. That's all defined by the machine and it's taken care of by the software when we go through and program that. So I'm just going to expand the, uh, the pick-off cutoff area here. Or I would if we had a mouse. No worries. You're good, my friend. <laughs> but so this is this one operation is our normally 13 op chunk yeah. if we were programming this in right standard here. lathe. So this is the pick off cutoff yep. starting right here. Correct. It's gonna come right down. Like I say, really tight space right here. Kind of pull it out. And we're basically just defining the point we want to grab on and the point we want to cut off. And Mastercam is taking care of all of the rest of this in terms of positioning. Well, and making sure, you know, also again, that we have material over here and we have material left here, right? Because this is right. basically designed to run part after part in some bar. Yeah, continuous feed. I was able to slow my feed. I have an RPM max a lot of times on my part off. So it's nice I was able to automatically slow down my feed when I get to that RPM max.
I will. Oh. I'm sure we'll hear it. <laughs> Good. See, all right, part transfer done. It's probably okay. I'm gonna pull some of this off. All right, so just like that, consistent every time, right? Have that material yeah. on the back side. Make sure I get my part to length. So now we've got to be aware of those sub-spindle jaws with the custom profile here, and we've got to know what tooling we're, we're using on the back side of the turret so we know those clearances before we come in and machine this. For sure, and there are definitely some tight clearances there that you'll want to watch out for. Absolutely. Yeah, so shunk, Kenna Metal, actually, I can get all those solid models. Sorry, <laughs> uh, shunk, Kenna Metal, I can get all those solid models and I can download those and put those right into the software. And we actually have those on the MasterCam Tech Exchange as well. So if you're looking for downloadable libraries already in MasterCam, you can go there and grab those libraries and then put them right into your machine files. All right, we're going to finish up the face, finish up the ID, and then tighten. We'll have our uh, upgraded mill operation. Almost, we gotta do the thread real quick, make sure it's clear. And I think, and MasterCam too, it's kinda nice, we can check our cycle time on MasterCam, right, too, so if we wanna make some changes, like right now, we just made the changes to the milling hex, we can see how that would affect the overall run time of the job, right? Yep, and we know the acceleration rate of the machine, we know the, the linear feeds of all this, so we're spitting out an actual feed time a rapid time for the whole program so we can break that down and look at that and if we make changes we can see if uh, what kind of, of effect that we had on that cycle time. Which is nice, yeah, it's good to know. We didn't throw feed line, feed time, seven minutes. She's coming up after this. You can even like just touch the feed control and just Here's make sure everything is. Feed and spindle. Yeah. So we could we could start at 60 if you like, and we'll see. Gonna feed in. Feeds it too fast. It's faster. I 
other things we can do on like this end mill. Yeah. Take it deeper until mm -hmm. it's almost hitting the jaw, so you hit it higher Closer up. Closer to that work it, holding. It'll keep it more rigid, yeah. you know? Clean it up now. Which again, I think Lars kind of hit on it too, right? So we use the XC right here, but we could also come in with the Y axis, right? And kind of machined it that way, you know? So depending on your configuration, you have a lot of different options, not only with the machine, not only with the tooling, but with the options of Mastercam as well. Always thinking about rigidity of tool. Tools hanging out, let's try to use it nice and like get up close to the holder so we keep it nice and rigid. Great job, man. Oh, thank you. Again, when Dylan talks about clearance, this is another one of those ops where you really got to get by those jaws, so you, that clearance really matters. So it's nice to be able to check that beforehand. It won't tell me if my tool broke though, so that I still have to look for. All right, tool is good. And if we did want to change the axis combo of those milling ops, that's a one switch thing in Mastercam, so we don't have to rope reprogram those ops. We could try it both ways if we were concerned about oh. rigidity or we wanted to change it up. Yeah, that's nice. And there we go, one more time. There's our part. Thank you, Master Cam. Looks beautiful, Travis. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check it out. Let me yeah, check it out. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. You know, it's funny, we came in with the, so you went from 175 up to 300. 300. And Correct. of course, we can even go bigger than that, uh, keeping it nice and rigid. But it wasn't just the same chip load and a higher service foot. We actually put more pressure on it by mm -hmm. taking the chip load and almost doubling the chip load. Yeah, right? we picked it up, yeah, for sure. And I could still hear that, yeah. So as a machinist, put a little bit more pressure. So the chip load, we'll try another one. And we'll go higher on the chip load yeah. to try to get the pressure on there so it starts stops that little well, for, noise right for there. For sure, and all jobs are a little different, right? They're, they're unique, you have different work holding, maybe your stick out, maybe your pocket's a little deeper or not. Yeah. So all jobs take a little bit, you know, of kind of, you know, massage trial and error. Yeah, massage, massage it, it. Exactly, make, take, make our, it all take our expertise and, you know, and, and fine tune, fine tune. Super awesome. Yeah. Boom, getting the knowledge, getting the, the skills and the, you know, just really thinking about the application and the process. Dylan, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Amazing, Good job. as always. Amazing, brother. And at this time, I want to remind everybody, we're going to come in, deals, 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 and we're going to bring in Dave because we have incredible deals. I said it before. We went to our partners. We said, hey, the industry is shut down. The conventions are shut down. Please, like, give these incredible deals, and uh, let's help them out. And it's very important for me to say, Titans of CNC, we're not taking a cut from any of the deals. It's not about that. It's about you getting the best deal. So we're not taking a cut. We just want to make sure that now that the industry is opening up, you can take advantage of it by getting elite technology at an affordable price. And here's my man, Dave. Mm. Thank you. All right. That was impressive. You guys know machining is art. I mean, it literally is. To know what you're hearing, know what you're feeling, and then intuitively have done it enough to know exactly how to adjust it and tweak it to get exactly what you want, to kill the squeal, to get more tool life, to do these different things. Like that's just, it blows my mind every time I see it. And where are you gonna see live demos like this? Like we don't see them on convention show floors, even when the conventions happen, right? People are cutting air and all that kind of stuff. And it's neat to see a cool part that they probably made on that machine. But here we're actually seeing it happen, right? We're seeing those problems get solved in real time. And isn't it nice to see some love for the lathes, right? We're always talking about mills and that kind of stuff. But lathe people, you're out there. You know it, all right. If you're in the comments, go ahead and say, hey, lathe person checking in, thanks for the love. Awesome. All right, let's talk about some deals, you guys. So Mastercam, we're just talking with Dylan the man. 
Mastercam is doing 20% off all their core products, all right? So that's lathe included, that's your mill stuff, routers, design, wire, mill turn, everything included there with the Mastercam core products, 20% off, right? So you're gonna go to titansofcnc.com slash promo to find that deal. We had uh, Travis in here. Travis is also our inspection guy, right? The other day we were talking about uh, Mitch Atoyo and how inspection is a huge part of the process. And you saw him, right? He's checking the part throughout the process. He's using the go, no go gauges. He's doing all that kind of stuff to make sure that the part's gonna be perfect when it comes out. So Mitch Atoyo stepped up. They're doing tw up to $12,000 off their shop floor CMM, the MyStar 555, up to $12,000 off that. And you saw us in the inspection room the other day. They're doing up to $9,000 off that quick image with the motorized stage. Right? If you didn't see that, go back and watch that video because it's cool. He just puts the part down, hits the button, it goes around and makes this massive picture. And that's kind of what you're looking at for your measurements. And then everything else Mitch Toyo has, all the precision tools and instruments, is up to 35% off. All right, so check that out at Mitch Toyo. You can go to the titansofcnc.com slash promo page and you're going to find those, that information. I want to tell you guys again about our private Facebook group. You're watching live on Facebook right now. Make sure that you click over and go to the, the private Facebook group, and that's a place where you're gonna find people in our industry in a very friendly manner, right? We don't usually see friendliness on the internet, especially right now, where everybody's kinda at each other's throats. But in our Facebook group, we moderate that thing like crazy to make sure everybody stays very positive. When you have a question, we're gonna come in there with advice. Other folks are gonna ask about strategy and give you advice on how to do those things, right? So it's not just machining. It's machining, it's lathe tools, it's all that kind of stuff and there's advice on how to get new jobs. How do I go and I sell somebody? How do I break into this industry that I'm not in right now? And how can I do better quotes and all that kind of stuff, right? So every aspect of the business is covered and there's somebody in that Facebook group to help you out. So check out the private Facebook group. I wanna tell you guys about the Doosan Machine Tools deal that's going on right now, 25 to 30% off. Vertical mills, horizontal mills, and lathes, right? So over 65 of their models. You're gonna to go to titansfordoosan.com to find out exactly which models and how to work that deal with them. So this is for North and South America only, but for everybody who's not in North and South America, when you fill out that form, regardless of what country you're in, you're gonna get contacted. They're gonna be very gentle. They're just gonna say, hey, looks like you wanted some information about what kind of deal we might be able to make. And they're gonna to try to help you out no matter where you are, all right? Doosan's also doing that free custom Gerstner. So if you buy a machine during our event, you get a free one of those thrown in and they're doing the free raffle. So when you fill out that form, you're automatically entered into that raffle to win a custom Gerstner. All right, last time I told you guys we were gonna run a, we were gonna run a deal, a uh, giveaway over on Instagram. Our Instagram is at Titans of CNC. That is currently going right now. So after this video, if you haven't already entered, check over on our Instagram feed. Look at that first image and tag a friend who you both think you, think you should both win, all right? And somebody's gonna be getting that, that prize. Coming up in a little bit, and Titan's gonna tell us everything that's coming up, I wanna tell you about a deal that's coming up, which is Heimer. The other day, we looked at that Heimer tool crib, just kind of in brief. Uh, later on, we're gonna go in depth on what Heimer's doing for the industry and for the, the Boombastic show. Right now, they're doing 10% off their shrink fit, tool balancing, and presetters, and 20% off their 3D sensors. All right, so we're gonna get you more information on that a little bit later, but that's at titansofcnc.com slash promo as well. And Tormach is coming up. We're gonna be talking education, we're gonna be talking training a little bit later on as well. I'm gonna show you guys, not me, somebody who knows what the heck they're doing. It's gonna show you the XS Tech desktop mill router, okay? That thing is really cool, and Tormach is doing 500 bucks off that. Oh, thanks. Uh, just got handed this, I guess, Okay, it uh, looks like Russell uh, went rogue in the comments and he ran his own contest in our comments on this live feed that I was just told about, so that's cool. Uh, I'll have a chat with Russell after this, but we have a winner for Russell's in the comments giveaway and it's Sarah Martins and Alan Watts. You're both getting a really cool prize pack and this is just another thing, you guys. Make sure you're watching those comments Apparently Russell's going rogue. I'm gonna have a chat with him, but make sure that you're in there. You're sharing it with your friends and all that kind of stuff because we want you to win cool prizes too. Sound good? All right, I'm gonna bring back Titan. He's gonna tell us what's coming up next. Boom. Oh man. Thank you, Dave. Ooh, deals, 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 crazy deals, crazy machining, demos, 
all of it, industry knowledge, making it happen right here at the Boombastic Show. Having fun. Are you guys having fun? This is crazy. We put this thing together last minute. We did it for you because we wanted to like bring that education and bring those deals because we've been locked down and we have suffered. So at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, just in a like 90 minutes, we're actually going to go into a world and I'm excited about this because it's levels, right? We're doing the, the excess tech from Tormac, right? We have the Deuce on premium training package. We have the nine axis and the five axis. There's levels in machining, right? So you go from regular tool holders to actually shrink fit. You got Hydroforce, you get all these different tool holders. We're gonna educate you a little bit on that. We're gonna show you how Hydroforce actually not high. We're going to show you Hydroforce as we were milling with it yesterday, but we're going to show you shrink fit in the Heimer tool room, and we're going to explain presetting and balancing, and we're going to show you exactly how it's done and who and why it should be done, who should be doing it, all right? That is uh, in 90 minutes. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are out. Boom. Oh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and welcome to the Boombastic Show. Oh, man, we are on episode number 13, 14, 15, and uh, 15, that's crazy. It's like a marathon, day number four, and the technology keeps growing. One thing I'm proud about our platform is we give free education. If you have a niece, a nephew, an uncle, a grandfather, a friend down the street that, that could benefit from manufacturing, which is just about everyone, they can simply go to titansofcnc.com, go up into the website, go to the regular academy, and they can learn CAD, CAM, and CNC for free. If you're already a machinist and you want to get into aerospace, then, then hit aerospace and go into our aerospace academy or just hit aerospaceacademy.com. Boom, free education. Uh, with the academy, we are proud because we actually teach all the fundamentals from basic just how to put a vice on a table, how to file a part, like the, the proper procedures through all the different variables, all the the function, fundamental aspects of it. See, live TV, but I can laugh at myself, all right? But, but all the fundamentals, we, we just teach all of it, right? And, and we show you the tools, and we put the tools in, and we nail them, then we come in with the hydroforce, and we show you hydroforce, and we, we keep, keep taking the levels up. Now that we're dealing with aerospace, now that we're dealing with the horizontals, now that we're dealing with automation, now we want to show you how to actually tool up in a way that you can be so efficient that you never stop your machine to tool up. Your machine's not waiting for you to tool up. You actually go through a procedure called shrink fitting, where you actually put your tools in, then you preset, go to a presetter, you set your tools, and then you balance your tools for perfection, and that's what we do. Those are just a few of the things that we do in the new Heimer tool room. So today we're gonna to actually teach you that process and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know, the industry has suffered. We have reached out to our partners and said, hey, these guys have been locked down. Manufacturing has been locked down. Now it's opening up. The big conventions aren't happening. Let's actually go and give these guys some crazy deals. Let's actually do something online that's spectacular. It's boombastic. So, so give us the deals. Give the deals to uh, give the deals to everyone out there all of the machinists out there so they can actually make it happen on a daily basis. And uh, Titans of CNC, through that whole process, we're not taking a cut. It's all about getting you the best prices possible so you can rise up when it comes to technology. So before we actually get into the teaching, I'm gonna ask Dave, Mr. Dave Cox, my man, to come in and talk about the Heimer discount that they're giving on all their machines. Yeah. Yeah, Heimer really stepped up huge, and this is one of the ones that I've been most excited about because I got to be behind the scenes, I got to see this thing built, and I'm just like, man, what is that? How the heck do we use it? So 
I'm stoked on this next thing coming up. Heimer is doing 10% off any Heimer machine. So we're about to go over the shrink fitter, the tool balancing, and presetting on the Vio Linear. And all that's gonna get shown to you guys in crystal clear detail. Bob's gonna be showing you guys exactly how that kind of stuff works and why it might be important for you. But Heimer is doing 10% off on that. And they're doing 20% off their 3D sensors, right? So the Heimer Universal 3D sensor in the inch and the Heimer Centro Coaxial, both 20% off. And I believe they're still doing it. Yeah, they still have some stock left. So they're still doing the Heimer face shields for 20 bucks, right? That's that really sick, very nice Heimer face shield. You can pull it up out of the way, talk to somebody, and it's rated for the shop. All right, so that's the Heimer deals. You're gonna find those at titansofcnc.com slash promo. And I'm gonna get out of the way and let these guys show you exactly what's going on. Boom. Oh, thanks brother. You got it. Boom. So before we get to the teaching, one more thing. I just wanna bring in Steve. You guys met Steve yesterday. What's Titan. up brother? Titan, thanks for having there? us. I, Absolutely, man. So, so maybe you can uh, go ahead and just remind the viewers, talk to the people who weren't here yesterday and actually what is Heimer, where'd they come from, and why is it important? Great, well, Heimer is really proud to be a partner with Titans of CNC Academy. You know, Heimer really believes in educating the next generation about machining. We're extremely passionate about this industry. In fact, Heimer, which was, uh, Franz Heimer Sr. started the company out of, out of uh, his father's garage, and today we've built it up to a, a very large company. In fact, most of this product, everything you see in this, in this tool room, is 100% made by Heimer in their manufacturing facilities. Our main facility is a 200,000 square foot facility with 140 machine tools under power. This year alone, Heimer is proud to have 50 apprentices, brand new apprentices in our manufacturing facility. So what is Heimer all about? Heimer is about consistency of setup. And that's what Bob and Titan are gonna be showing you here in a couple of minutes. When we talk about shrink fit, it's the most accurate way to hold a cutting tool. We're talking three microns run out accuracy, or one-tenth at three times the diameter of the cutter. Every time, no matter who changes a tool, from a, a new apprentice first day on the job to a journeyman machinist 20 years on the job. We're the worldwide leader in inductive heat shrink technology. We have over 30 heat shrink machines, from an entry-level shrink machine for a, a, a new shop with one machine tool up to a machine shop with several hundred machine tools. When we talk about presetting, it's about checking runout, diameter, getting the critical dimensions of the cutting tool outside the machine so you can reduce the setup time on the machine tool, reduce scrap, and maximize your machining time. Balancing, a lot of times it's not talked about, but if, by having a fully balanced tool holder assembly, you reduce vibration, which is created from centripetal force. By reducing vibration in your tool holder assembly, you can increase metal removal rates. If you can increase metal removal rates, you're making more parts per hour, per day, per week, per month, and per year. And that's where it's at. Our products help companies be more competitive. So, Titan. Awesome, man. Thank you very Boom. much. Thank you so much for the support. Heimer have coming alongside us in partnership to help the Academy give free education to everyone. So, uh, Bob, thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. What's up, again. Bob? Good seeing you. How long have you been with Heimer? Uh, 10 years now. 10, ten, ten, ten years. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Baba and I have had a lot of really good mm -hmm. talks mm -hmm. because you've been here for about a week setting everything up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I get training while everybody else gets training, right? right. So right. we're going to actually go over here. You're going to show us exactly how to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, come on, guys. Let's go and uh, check this out. Okay. I'll let you. Uh, I'll stand I'll, on the side. You come on this side. I'll come on this side. Let the cameras walk right. straight right. in. So, and, you, and we'll just keep talking sure. to the audience. So probably a lot of people don't know what shrink fit is. And shrink fit is basically the diameter of this bore is smaller than the diameter of this tool. So I, I can't put this in here. This is a lot like putting a bearing in a wheel. Might have to cool one up and heat one, heat one up so I can get it together. This works very similar. So. This machine is very simple to operate. Um, in German, they say Kinderspiel. It has to be child's play because if it's not easy to use, people aren't going to want to learn how to do it. So this is uh, called the power shrink holder. It's a heavy wall thickness. Shrink fit is very uh, up and coming in, in the multi-axis world. Uh, it was great listening to that Doosan machine yesterday, not only to see it cut, but to hear it cut. And it's all about the rigidity of your setup and, and often uh, 
overlooked part is the rigidity of the tool holder. So we're gonna do a real simple uh, shrink uh, installation here, Titan. I'm gonna pop this in the machine. This tool has a data matrix code on it, so I can just scan my tool. And it tells me, gee, this is a three quarter inch shrink fit holder and it sets all the parameters automatically and it, all I need to do as the operator is say, you need to have your coil at position number six, which is for a three quarter to seven eighths diameter tool. So we're there, we're gonna lower this underneath my induction coil. We're gonna bring this down. And this is really cool. This has safe lock on it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. This has safe lock, so this is like a, a safety belt. We're gonna put this in. You can see this is a, like a thread and there's a mating thread component inside the tool holder. So when we shrink this in, it's gonna turn down against the stop. And I make it a positive stop and it's gonna be impossible if this tool to pull out because it's gonna, if it's, if it's spun at all, it would just pull it in the tool holder like a safety belt in your car. Oh, so, and of course, that is the core five from Canna Metal. We're gonna get after it with that tool. So yeah. we, gotta, we gotta have that lock, right? Okay, so let's just hit the button here. And this is about a 12 second heat up time for this tool holder. What, how, how, Fahrenheit, so, what's it going? It uh, won't get over 700 degrees 700? Fahrenheit. 700, right. And it's just in seconds. Right. I'm gonna put this in. My safe awesome. lock, it grabs. Now I'm gonna bring it over here. And I have a closed loop chilling system where I'm circulating a refrigerated coolant through this cooling body contact. You can see it here, I have a red light. A little LED has gone red now. And so this is gonna take about 30 seconds. And when the red light flashes, it's gonna tell me it's cool enough for the operator to touch. Awesome. So it goes from it goes up to 700 Correct. degrees, mm. and then it drops down to what? Well, down to room temperature. Mm. Okay. So cool enough to the touch. This machine is capable of shrinking between one eighth diameter up to an inch and a quarter diameter, and uh, this machine is uh, optionally equipped with the heavy duty coil, which will allow us to shrink up to a, a two inch diameter tool in a shrink fit holder and very modular. So this is what we call a spider. This is set up now for the 50 taper for the Doosan uh, NHM 6300. But when I come over to the 40 taper Doosan, I just pop that out and now I have 40 taper, I have Capto, I have BT30, very simple, in out, ready to go. Which is great, I mean, you just look at the tool room you know, they looked at every single type of tool holder that we actually have here. And uh, not only is it represented there, but when you actually pull them out, mm -hmm. we have like um, all the drawers are set for them also. It's, it's amazing. So very modular in construction. Uh, Heimer works with the uh, end user to, to determine what their, uh, their requirements are as far as spindle types, number of tool holders, types of equipment we need, and uh, this gets designed then for, for the end user with their, like having your kitchen design custom. Mm -hmm. and, in the, and even the tool room is modular, right? You, yes. So you, so you have a what, like three foot and six three foot, foot sections? Three foot panels, in, uh, foot and a half panels. There's a, a desk, there's different working spaces, shelves, vertical cabinets for tool holder assemblies, okay. horizontal cabinets where we can put tool holders inserts accessories. Mm -hmm. I don't think people actually knew that you actually make tool rooms. I mm -hmm. like calling them tool cribs. Mm -hmm. I don't think people, you know, tool cribs, but uh, if you had a huge shop, this could be 50 feet long. Correct. If you had a right. small shop, it could be like, like 10 or 15 feet. Correct. Based mm -hmm. on how you actually mm -hmm. build it out and what you're using, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So let's check our LED here. We're flashing now. So we know that this is cool enough to touch. So I'm gonna take the cooling body off. Now I can take this tool holder assembly out and we're gonna come and we're gonna check the length of the tool holder. So this is a Heimer Microset Violinear. It's, uh, it's an automatic machine that can also be run manually. So it runs with linear motors, there's no ball screws, it's very quiet and it's about 30% uh, faster than a ball screw machine.
So I'm going to take this tool. I'm going to put it in the spindle, like so. And now I'm going to clamp it. All right. And this clamps with five kilonewtons of clamping force, very similar to the way that the tool holder is pulled down in the machine tool spindle. So the, the spindle force and the spindle force here are the same. It pulls the tool down and the spindle the same. So what I measure here is what I need for the machine tool. Okay. So let me come over here. We started to put together a tool library. So I have various tools here for both the 50 taper and for the 40 taper machine. So the operator could simply come down the list here and find this tool. But this machine also has the ability where I can scan the data matrix code that's on this tool holder. So I'm gonna grab my scanner and I wanna say direct measurement so it's gonna look for the tool ID that I scan. So now we see tool ID number 100. That's correct, I'm gonna say, yes, that's correct. And it says now, should I start the measurement automatically? Yes, I will. And we'll see now that the X and Z axis of the machine tool come, and we're gonna measure each of these five flutes separately. So it scans, snaps a measurement, gonna scan again, snap a measurement. We'll do all five. Okay, now I can graphically look and see here is each cutting edge, not only in the diameter X, but also in Z. So the operator can say, hey, this looks good, this looks bad. Uh, this is really helpful on, on shell mills where I have uh, multiple inserts that I can see that each insert is set properly. And when I'm done now, I can say apply this next and I'm gonna say, hey, I, let me put this in uh, pocket number 10 in the machine. Yes. Print. Now I've printed a label that I can affix on this tool that not only has a QR code, where if the machine tool were equipped with a scanner, I could read this and automatically input the data to the machine tool. It also has a man readable, so I see this is tool number such and such. It's this kind of a tool. I have this X dimension and this Z dimension that the operator could input that. This machine is also very interfaceable. We could tie this machine directly to the machine tool, so we could download those measurements from a single tool or multiple tools directly to the machine tool and the operator when ex execute it would load all the registers correctly. And at the higher end, here's a RFID chip. We could write the data to the RFID chip and if the machine were equipped with RFID, it could read this chip and also know what this tool is, know how much tool life is on this tool. Uh, what the, the offsets are and automatically load that to the machine tool. So very quickly and all automatic. All right. So now I've shrunk the tool, I've measured the tool, and now we're gonna come to the balancing machine and we're gonna check the balance. monitor went to sleep. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Okay. 
monitor went to sleep. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's All right. Live it's only live because it's live. Right? <laughs> yeah, right? You got to have some fun. Everybody knows. I mean, how many people are going to actually go live, machine, do all the demos, everything mm. live? There's, you're not going to see much of it. So, uh, boom, you're doing a all great right. job. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. So, I like to tell people this is a lot like when you buy new tires for your car. You wouldn't buy new tires for your car without balancing them. Because if you drive away from the wheel shop, you feel it in your steering wheel, you feel it when you're braking, and you have the same issue of a tool holder assembly and a machine tool when it's not balanced. And the way it manifests itself in the machine, it's, it's in the surface finish, it's in the tool life, it's the way that the machine sounds when it's cutting, and eventually it's going to decrease the life of the spindle bearings in your machine tool. So again, this is a lot like why we balance on a car. So I've clamped the tool in here. This machine also has a scanner, so I can scan. It knows that, again, it's tool number 100. I'm gonna say, yeah, great, it's tool number 100. I clamp this in my spindle, close my hood, hit the cycle start button. And this now spins, and this spindle is mounted on four sensors so it can detect oscillation from unbalance. So we make a reading, and then we make a second reading at 180 degrees. Clamp the spindle again. And now we'll see the circle looks green, but it's not completely green. And so even though this is a balanced, it's a high quality balanced shrink fit holder, the fact that I've put a cutting tool in it and put a pull stud in it, I now have, I've affected the weight of it. So it's balanced pretty well, but it's not quite where we want it for this particular machine. So this tells me it stopped here where it's red, so the tool is heavy at this point, and to correct this tool, it's telling me to add weight behind the heavy point here. Much like the car tire, they put a weight on it, the wheel, to take to uh, offset the unbalance from the wheel assembly. So it tells me exactly what we need to do. We need to add weight here and here, and this particular machine, to, this particular holder, sorry, has threaded holes in it where we can add weight. So it tells me that at this position here, I need to add 4.3 grams, and then I have 5.2 grams at the other spot. So the way we do that is we have a kit of weighted screws. And each screw has a weight, and then there's some charts if I have to be under the weight of the lightest screw, and I'm able then to add the screw that I need. So for example, in this case, I have to add 0.11 grams, which is gonna be a combination of uh, a number six screw and a number three screw. So I'm gonna put the heavier screw in the back. Put my lighter screw up in the front. So the reason we're using two screws here is the amount of unbalance is less than, is less than 
the weight of the lightest screw in my kit. So by taking a heavy screw and a light screw, one minus the other then gives me that small minute amount. So now we run the cycle again. Take a look. And now we see that our bullseye is all green because we're balanced to better than what we're looking for spindle-wise. So now I can pop this out. Take this to my machine tool. And the important thing here is that all this can happen while the machine tool is still running making chips. So you can be very productive, you're not having an idle spindle while the operator is here setting tools. So, oh, thank you buddy. Great job, thank great you. job. Thank you. You know, one thing that I'll say is that uh, shops are, mm -hmm. some shops are small, some shops are huge, right? Right from the beginning when I started my company, I had a tool crib. Mm -hmm. And over the years, the tool crib grew and grew and grew. Uh, when you get to a certain point, the larger shops, they actually hire a tool crib or a tool room attendant that actually sets up all of the tools and gets everything ready so the machinists can just keep the machines running nonstop. But even if you're small, you can still have a tool room and you can still have the tools in place. And as the, the machine's running, you can just walk to the side and you can set the tools for the next job. Set the tools, set a couple tools. Change parts, go back, set a couple tools. Boom, think about the third job, like what's coming next week, what's coming the week after. Mm -hmm. Put a couple carts in place, get, all, get everything all set. And then when the machine stops, you simply change out your fixture in, put your tools in, boom, and you go. And you save a huge amount of time. And in this day and age, we need to solve our customers' problems. We need to drop our prices. We need to be efficiently efficient, and we need to compete on a global level. And the way to compete is taking setup out of machining so it's only runtime, and then using the, the crazy optimal tools, extreme tools, to actually get after it, come back and kiss it, and then make the parts absolutely perfect efficiently, and that's how you do it. Heimer, boom, Bob. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love hi having Heimer here. Thank and, you. And uh, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. You guys are amazing. I've known of these guys for years and years and years. So having them here, having the tool room. I didn't even know about the tool room, and now it's here. Boom. So, so good. All right. All right, brother. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So coming to, coming to the close of this episode, and guess what we got? Deals, 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 crazy deals for everybody out there, for all the shops out there, the shop owners. You want to, like, rise up in this trade? Dude, 20 to, <laughs> 20 to 25 to 30% off Doosan machines, 20% off Mastercam. Canon Metal Tools are, like, crazy deals, crazy deals. And my man Dave Cox is going to come over here and uh, discuss it with you. Ah, oh, all right, everybody. Deals, deals. How's it go? Oh, oh, deal. Deals, 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 and Dave. Crazy deals. All right. So let's talk about Heimer's deal one more time. In case you missed it at the top of this episode, the Heimer deals are crazy. And I just, I watched this with you guys, and my mind is blown. I didn't, I didn't even realize the way they explain this is incredibly cool. So if your mind is blown like mine was, in the comments put, Heimer just blew my mind 
and one of you guys who comments that is gonna win a cool Heimer prize pack, all right? So put that in the comments. Heimer just blew my mind, and uh, they're gonna blow your mind right now because the deals are insane. 10% off any of these Heimer machines. Anything they just went through, 10% off. You're watching this demo, you're going, man, I can see exactly how that relates to what I do. I need that machine. And you're either a business owner or you're somebody who uses these things, and you're gonna go, I'm gonna get one of those and I'm gonna save 10% off right now. You can also get 20% off their 3D sensors. That's the Heimer Universal 3D Sensor and the Heimer Centro Coax. And they have those really cool face shields for just 20 bucks. All right, so you're gonna get those deals at titansofcnc.com slash promo. That's where you can check out all the information. Next up, we do wanna remind you about Doosan's incredible offers. They're doing 25 to 30% off over 65 models. You find out which ones at titansfordoosan.com and you can see all the, everything you can do with those machines. It's, it's incredible. Everything is in stock, ready to go and they're getting back to people pretty much immediately, right? They're putting them in touch with the distributors and all that kind of stuff. So these are from right now to when you have the machine, very short amount of time, titansfordoosan.com. Let's remind you guys, right? We were just looking at that sexy tool. That was a Core 5 in there? Core five. That was a Core 5, beautiful. So that Core 5 end mill, $41 for the 3 8 inch size or $56 for the half inch size. Now, if that doesn't blow your mind as well, then you haven't been paying attention to tooling prices because that's incredible. So it's the time. Right now is the time, during our event is the time to try those tools out. A lot of people know about them already and they're stocking up. They've bought 40, 50, 100, 500, maybe not 500, but they're buying a lot of tools, right? And it's time for you to get one. Then once you get one, you're gonna wanna get five, then you're gonna wanna get 10. And you wanna make sure you start that process early so you can get them before the deal runs out. You're gonna find that at titansofcnc.com slash promo. They're also doing buy three, get two free on the high performance drills. That's HPX, SGL, and the HPR series using the code SGL1920 when you check out with Kenna Metal. Coming up in a little bit, we're gonna be looking at that Tormach, right? The little thing that I told you about, the very adorable little desktop mill where you can learn about all the building blocks, you can understand exactly how to get into this trade or start your kids on it, right? Experience, help them experience the love and the passion that you have for this industry. And Tormox doing 500 bucks off of those bad boys. And that's also at titansofcnc.com slash promo. If you haven't been to our site, you need to check out the Aerospace Academy. Aerospaceacademy.com is where you're gonna see some incredible tutorials. We're going so far over the edge with these things. We're talking, ISO grids and crazy connectors and all that kind of stuff in some insane materials. So definitely check out aerospaceacademy.com and take your skills to the next level. Interstellar almost. I want you guys to know too, 25% off of our store. So all of our merchandise, everything, 25% off when you go to store.titansofcnc.com and you use the code, boom. You knew what code it was gonna be, come on. Boom is the code to use, all right. You're gonna get 25% off our store, and I'm gonna do this. The next five orders that come through, and I get a little buzz on my phone whenever an order comes through, the next five that come through, I'm gonna have Shaney put a little something special in there for you, all right? So you're gonna get a bonus gift from Shaney if you're one of the next five to order something, using that code BOOM to save 25% off everything. Lastly, before I bring Titan back up, we have that contest going on on Instagram right now. Right after this live video, I'm gonna go over on Instagram stories and you guys are gonna to get to hear who won, all right? So if you haven't already gotten in on that one, go to instagram.com slash titansofcnc or in the app, just type up at titansofcnc. Tag a friend, get you guys both entered and win something literally in the next five, 10 minutes, all right? Here comes Titan, tell us what's going on next. Winner from today. Winner from today, Zach Grindle. I don't know what you won, but we are gonna hook is you up with something. Heimer? All right, oh, the Heimer? Heimer swag bag. Oh, you won the Heimer swag bag, that was so quick. You see, instant winners, Zach Grindle, your mind was blown, my mind was blown, and now they're gonna blow your mind with the cool swag pack they're gonna give you. All right, I'm gonna bring Titan back up, tell you what's next. Whew, that was quick, that was crazy quick. That was efficient, you saw how the winner was just chosen? Boom. So. We got one more episode today, and it is going to be in 90 minutes at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
and uh, we're going to look at the excess tech, the little router. We're going to look at the new training machines from Doosan. We're going to talk about lifting up this industry and teaching our trade to our kids and to just anybody who wants to learn this trade. We're going to teach them efficiently and we're going to just talk about, we're going to show some chips being made. We're going to make the chips on both machines. It's going to be incredible. I will see you then. Boom. Oh, uh, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh, uh, and welcome to the Boom Bastic Show. Day four, episode 16. The marathon continues. What's up? So, this, I mean, this is awesome. You know, I've already said it. I'm going to say it again. We have crazy deals, deals, deals like crazy deals, and we have crazy machining. We have crazy platforms to show you. We really like from, like literally in the last couple of months, we just realized, you know what? Hey, the conventions aren't happening. You know, people have been locked down. So in the last, not even a couple of months, maybe six weeks, we just came to our partners and said, hey, let's do something quick. Let's make something happen. Let's get crazy deals. Let's give it to our industry. Everything is breaking loose. And so like, let's help them get new technology. Let's help them get new software at incredible prices. And guess what? You guys get the discounts. And during that whole process, Titans of CNC doesn't take a dime from it. It's all about you guys and, and us coming to the call or answering the call just to do something incredible for the industry, for you guys, because we love you guys, all right? Today I'm excited because, you know, I got a big old horizontal over there, right? We were going beast mode on that horizontal, cutting some uh, titanium chips. The other... On Monday, we we're on a nine axis getting after it. And then on Tuesday, we we're on a five axis getting after it, full simultaneous making it happen. And today we were on the 2600 on the, over there on the Puma, the SY2, making an incredible stainless part. Manufacturing is big. It's important. It's, it's, the, it's what our country needs to be a base so we can actually put people to work, allow them to make good money and compete in a global environment. But many have forgotten how important it is. And because we don't speak about manufacturing, because there's no awareness, because they don't show it in the media, because there's no drama, we've lost those jobs. And it's simply because companies have gotten lax. There's so many companies that have gotten lax with their technology, with their employees, and employees have, have forgotten that they need to step up and be a pillar in that company. And you know, a lot of it, besides trade, there's a lot of other things that contribute. But when I look at it, awareness is huge. We need to show people, we need to talk about the industry, get people to understand that there is this industry where you can make good money, right? doing something fun. You, we're not, it's not a dirty, dingy place. We're making rockets that go to the space station. We're making submarines that go to the bottom of the ocean and everything in between. It's incredibly high tech. But as we get people excited about it, and as we get more people into it, we have to figure out how to train them. And training is changing. When people look, about educate, look at education, they're thinking, Oh, I have to go to college to go and learn this. But we're changing the game right now. One of the first, like the foundation of all of it is our academy. Anybody can go to titansofcnc.com, go up into the academy, they can go into instructions and they can learn how they can actually learn CAD, CAM, and CNC from fundamentals to five axis, all of it for free. Then they can go into regular machinists to take their skills to another level, can go to our aerospace academy and learn high level aerospace parts, how to read prints, the entire process, and it's all incredible. So, and all of that is free. And because it's free, all companies, your excuses has, everything's left. There's no excuses because you have the curriculum, the glue, to start your own training program. Now, uh, when it comes to training, to compete as a nation, 
we got to run high level machines. We got to run, run big things and we need to automate and bring in the right technology to outcompete everyone. And therefore, we need to stop giving throwaway machines to our younger generation and saying that's good enough for them to learn for years and instead realize that they're actually growing up on cell phones and computers and they have brains and they're used to multitasking and we need to bring them up and invest in their futures and invest in the future of our workforce by going to elite machines. And that's why I'm excited to actually announce, and we announced it the other day, but today we're actually gonna cut chips, all right? But this is the DEM 4000. It is a premium machine with a crazy casting. It is rigid and solid, side mount tool changer, 8,000 RPMs, 10 horsepower, beautiful machine. Got the fan and control, beautiful machine. This machine right here, is $55,000. $55,000 for a premium machine built like this is an insane price. But what I'm excited about is when you buy this package, you get Mastercam. You get Mastercam. You get a shunk vise. You get the material. You get the tools. You get the tool holder. You get all the things from, we're going to explain later. You get Blazer. You get the Heimer 3D sensor, the Michitoyo. Our largest part is eight inches for the building blocks. So you have an eight inch waterproof caliper right here. We got mics and indicators, and not just mics, beautiful mics, everything. Torque wrenches, soft jaws, parallels, plug and play, put the machine on the floor, put the electrical in air, and run. Because a lot of people, they bring in the machines and they don't understand this is an expensive industry and we have to buy all these things that go with that, that add to the cost. So this machine is 55. Now there's also a lathe. And if you guys don't know, like Doosan, is known for their lathes. Their Lynx series is actually the most popular lathe in the entire world. And right along with that lathe comes the Leo, a smaller version that is a beast premium machine. And it's a great machine for our kids to learn on. And guess what? I, think, I believe it's 47,000. And then you get Mastercam, you get the coolant, you get all the things for the lathe package and for companies out there. If you're scared that you're not gonna have a workforce, if you're scared that you can't find employees, all you need to do is start a Titans of CNC Academy small group. It is a group that comes together on a Saturday, on a, on a Monday, on whatever day you want for training. And they use our curriculum on CNC machines, and you design, you program, and you machine actual parts. And at, those actual parts will be done on these machines. So Doosan is giving these two machines. You can buy them in the packages individual, or you can buy the mill and the lathe for $98,000. It's under $100,000 for two premium machines, Mastercan, mill, lathe, coolant, everything that you need to start a crazy training program. So invest in your employees. And when you go to Home Depot, you go down the street and yet people are asking about manufacturing and you're like, hey, go to college. Well, you can change it. And you can say, hey, you know what? If you actually want to come in on Monday, we're having a training course and we'll start training you. Or maybe we'll, we'll start you in shipping, but you can go to our training course, our in-house training course, and you can learn how to actually make the building blocks on these machines. Let me show you something. For any of these young guys, this is the best resume in the business. This is our building blocks. There are 10 blocks, Titan 1M, 2M, 3M, you go from pockets and 1032 threads to quarter 20s to open pockets to islands and O-rings and odd shaped parts with key cutters, 
to mirroring to actual ISO to actual ISO grids, boom, to building a rocket, 10 different parts where you actually build every single piece. Education has never been so easy. And the beginner series is building blocks for the, for the mill, and then it is the rocket for the lathe. And this is what you're gonna make on these machines, the entire package, boom. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna actually bring in the one, the only, Nicole, what's up, Nicole? What's up, Titan? How are you? What's up, guys? Ah, so Nicole, where did I meet you? You met me at Sierra College, which is actually right down the street from here. Right down the street, and what was the curriculum that you were using? So at Sierra College, they were actually teaching Titans of CNC curriculum. So Boom, was, the building that blocks. That was my first experience. With and then I was like talking to the teacher because I helped out kind of set the whole thing up. And I was, I was like talking to the teacher and I said, who is the best student in your class? And he said, Nicole. And I said, oh, Nicole, if she wants a job, she can come and apply because I actually need somebody. Yeah. And uh, you came and applied. Yeah, and now it's Boom. been about two years. Two years, here, so and now you teach people. And now I'm teaching people. <laughs> You're doing like the, the Tormach version of the building blocks. Yeah. You're doing just so much with the kids programs. Yeah, the kids and series. Today you're gonna show us how to make a part. Yep, we're gonna make the 9M. And it's awesome, crazy, right? You can learn from the academy in your own shops. You can teach your own people. You can take people who don't know anything, individuals who have a, a good mind, bring them in and they can actually learn right there. If you know anybody, something special to me, if you know anybody with autism, this is an amazing program for those with autism, like medium or into a higher level, because people with autism, they love a computer. They love repetition. They love to, they, they, and when they have production and they actually make something, they gain confidence. And therefore, with the building blocks, you go from part to part to part to part and you build confidence. So I'm just saying, there's a lot of people out there you wouldn't think that they would work in a CNC machine shop and yet it is the perfect environment for them. So, Nicole, you set something up for us on this machine right here. Yeah, so I have the 9M set up right now. Awesome, so we're gonna run it? Yeah. Awesome, ready? you guys ready? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run this and then we're gonna show you something even crazy, like not crazier, but just another cool thing that you that we can do and uh we can teach even young kids how to actually machine so while this is running we'll go show you something else else you ready yep Maybe you can explain a little bit. It's going to actually go yeah, so in. It's, it's going to start, start ramping into the pocket, and then it's going to start roughing out the outer profile of the part. And then it'll go ahead and finish the outside profile, the outside profile of the part. And then we're going to do some 3D surfacing with a ball mill. You know, one of the cool things about this part right here is the contour is this full 3D surfacing. Like this is like high level stuff and our kids do it, our beginning students do it and it's, it's awesome. So right now she's in these pockets right here. Oh, getting after it. So let's train our kids, let's train our workforce on legit, solid machines. And uh, you wanna talk about the XS Tech? Yeah, so the XS Tech is Tormax router. This machine is basically just like a regular CNC machine. It's just in a smaller package. It's great for cutting plastic and wood. You can cut metal on it, but you would have to use a really light step over. Uh, but it's a great trainer machine and they're doing a really good deal on it, which is amazing.
But if you learn that machine, you can transfer that knowledge to any CNC machine. Awesome. So we're, cool. we're going to keep watching this. This part actually takes a little bit because it's full 3D, so it's going to start, start surfacing and everything. So we're going to make an adjustment. We're going to come over here and we're going to come and look at this machine. Now, one thing that I was one thing that I was saying, I was talking about the different types of machines because there's different levels, right? When we look at a, a machine shop doing training, right, where we need those employees to actually run advanced tool paths and become pillars in the company, the Doosan DEM4000 and the Leo Lathe, like those machines are premium machines and they're great for education and they're great for doing high level training. Now, this guy right here is awesome. It's the Excess Tech router. It is a mill. And that's one of the craziest things right here. It is an absolute mill. It has it runs off the of G code. You you got your speeds, your fees, everything. So just like that machine, without the horsepower, it doesn't have horsepower, but we cut plastic and we cut wood and we cut different things, and you can create different shapes. And one of the cool things that happened with our academy is my daughter Gabrielle came in and she wanted to make a dog bone. And we went over there and we machined and we, we engraved and stuff. And that was kind of the idea like, hey, I came over to Nicole and I said, hey, you want to help out with a kids series? And like, we can actually really teach some really cool things. So you actually have developed the curriculum yeah. where you're designing, you're programming, and you're and machining machine. using using the Tormach, all the different Tormach machines to actually yeah. make the kids series. Yeah, and each part has a special meaning. Um, we have the dog bone one, which is kind of based off of Gabriella and uh, their the dog angle. Maui. Yeah, and this oh, yeah. Angle, yeah. And uh, then we got a little heart-shaped one with a cat on it. It's pretty fun. And then we also have an autism awareness piece, which is really important to us. Yeah. Um, and if you want to talk a little yeah. bit about You know, the autism that. puzzle piece is cool because kids can actually make a puzzle piece that says autism awareness. They might not understand autism, but during the process as parents, we can actually teach them what it is and why it's important that they actually understand it and why it's important that they actually learn manufacturing. And so that's a really cool project. And then recently, you know, we just literally, uh, from the United States, we actually, on the, well, on the Dragon capsule, took our astronauts up to the space station. And kind of in that same timeline, we thought, let the kids make a rocket. So yeah, that's so what we, we created the Titan Kids rocket. So that one's what we're gonna be working on here today. Yeah. So when I when I look when I look at education like this 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 machine right here, Toramac is giving you five hundred dollars off right now. They're giving you five hundred dollars, and that puts it under three thousand dollars for an actual machine. Um, I have when when everybody went locked down and the school the schools closed and we got the kids got sent home. I actually made a maker space. You can look us up on Instagram and you can look us up on YouTube. It's Makerspace 77. And I started like just doing cool project with projects with my kids. And all the way through today, we're still making those projects. And uh, we're kind of revamping the Makerspace, but soon you're gonna see a whole bunch more videos coming out. So we're gonna be teaching all types of, uh, how to make all kinds of parts on the XS Tech router. Cause I have this router in my house plugged to a regular outlet. If you are a home shop and you want to learn the trade or in the garage or you just, you know, can't afford, you're not on the level to do the premium machines, Tormach also has like the 440 and the 770 and the 1100. Amazing CNC machines that start out like $5,000, $6,000 and go up into the 20 something. So we look at that, that's a great way. It's an affordable way to actually learn on the building blocks. But then if you want to step it up even higher to an elite kind of elite class to a premium machine, then you got the Doosan DEMs. Again, two of them, mill and lathe, under $100,000. So they don't compete. Tormac just allows anybody to actually come into this trade and uh, makes it affordable. And Doosan brings the premium element. 
And uh, we're going to actually run this guy right now. Yeah, you ready to run? Go ahead and then maybe talk through. Show them. Yeah, like so I've got, right now I have the program paused. So if you look at the screen here, you can see that I have my RPM down to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my RPM back on. That's going to start the spindle. So I'm going to hit that button here. You can hear the st spindle start. And now I can go ahead and hit cycle start and it's just going to continue the program. And you can also see if you look at this screen right here, it actually shows you a preview of where the tool is currently. This is actually capable of being a 3D view, so I can rotate the part around while it's machining and see where the tool is at any given time. And this is the exact same controller that you would have on any of the Tormac machines, which is really cool. But it's, it's pretty cool. Like, I don't know if like we can move, uh, can we get a nice close up in there? Because like Billy, Billy Boyce, AKA the Cat Beast, he actually went and 3D printed that little air nozzle. So we're actually pumping air into it to actually keep everything clean inside there. It's pretty awesome. coolest thing like watch the g-code like it's a regular cnc machine like you jog it you you stop it you you bring your feet up and down you do everything like a regular cnc machine If you actually look at our, uh, if you look at our YouTube uh, channel, you can see a video on the Makerspace 77. We're actually taught how to actually make the fixture. So I made a, we actually machine uh, designed it, and uh, Nicole actually helped me design it, and then we machined it, and then we basically uh, got some mighty bites, and I uh, just got got a cool way to hold the parts, and uh, yeah, it came out really good. But to be inspired and see how you could do your own, you can actually go and look at that. So Nicole, I'm just standing here running my mouth and Nicole is over here running one machine over here, running one machine over there, all at the same time. Boom, two CNCs. Cool though, right? I tell, you know, a lot of industry professionals, like think about it. Like, like you work so much, you go home, right? And, you, and you're playing with your kids. How awesome is this? If you actually make your own makerspace, follow us, make your own makerspace, and then bring in 3D printing, bring in a little excess tech router, take advantage of the deal that's going on right now. Oh, that tool change was fast over there. <laughs> Premium machine. But you know what I mean? Like it's amazing. We teach our kid process. Even if they don't go into machining, the engineering, the designing aspect, 3D printing it and then machining it in your own home in a maker space. It is brilliant. It's amazing. I love it. That's my favorite place in my whole house. It's amazing. So now we're on another tool. How about we walk back over to the DEM 4000. Maybe you can explain what we're doing now. Yeah, so right now it's doing the 3D surfacing that we described earlier. Um, the ball mill is basically just following that 3D surface and slowly creating the part that we see is the 9M. When we say 3D, we mean like a lot of times when you're profiling, like you drop down in Z, then you're, you're moving in X and Y, and then X and Y moves at the same time to create angles and circles. But then when we say 3D, that means Z comes into, into it. So you're actually like it, like my hand, you could actually just take a ball end mill that's round and you could surface every contour of my hand and you're going X, Y, and Z through the fluid motion 
Oh, and Mastercam, Mastercam, we program in Mastercam and it is absolutely amazing. Mastercam comes with this machine and gives you those perfect tool packs. Comes with it free. Crazy, yeah. right? Crazy deal. <laughs> Crazy deal. You know, we, we, like, I talk to teachers and I'm like, what is the, what, how can I help you? And they're like, hey, we got a grant, we got a machine, but now we couldn't afford vices, we couldn't afford material, we couldn't afford all these different things, and therefore we have to, we have to use the cheapest things, and that's what we're using to teach our kids. So our building blocks is cool because when you look at all the parts, all the mill parts, they simply are made from one by two bar stock. That's it. You buy 44 inches of one by two, you can make all 10 parts. All 10 parts represent all different types of manufacturing and, and tool paths. And once you learn those 10, your mind is open and you can pretty much make anything on this machine. When it comes to the rocket, the rocket, the rocket is made out of one inch diameter, 6061. People have made them out of stainless, they've made them out of different materials. But as you start going through it, you start seeing all the different parts and uh, all the ID grooves and everything, and it's just beautiful. But you just get like a small piece of one inch diameter and you put it in there, boom, and you can make everything. One thing that I forgot to say was that there's a thousand tools. There's millions of tools in manufacturing. And, a, and when a math teacher goes to, like, to become a manufacturing or CNC teacher, they don't know what they don't know. And they open these big catalogs and they have no idea, right? So they, they don't know what material to use, they don't know what the tooling should use. And so many, many of them, they end up using like high-speed tools and just garbage tools, not tools that this student will actually use in a real shop. So you're not preparing them, right? So what we did was we actually went to Kenna Metal. We had a talk with Kenna Metal, and we actually designed like all 10 parts, like the building blocks, off of a tool list. And that tool list was 16 tools, and you have these 16 tools. Don't worry about learning everything else, just trust us and, and go off of this tool library, and you can make all of the parts off of the one library. And then Kenna Metal actually took that library, put it in a box, put it in a box and actually gave it to you up to is something like 70% off when you actually look at how much the tools should cost and what they cost to get them into an affordable price in this kit. So you get the kit, you get 44 inches of material and you can basically make all of the building blocks. This is all the tooling. And then they're giving you holders also Same thing with the lathe. This is stick to three quarter inch stick tooling. You got carbide inserts. You got all the things that you need to make all of the rocket parts. Everything is right here. I believe when you look at the Leo lathe, there um, you can go as big as one inch tooling um, for the stick tooling. But since this is three quarter, we just use these little quarter inch spacers and it works perfect. So it's, it's just about solving problems. Yeah. How are we doing? Doing good. Nice. So, still working on that 3D surfacing. You know, and uh, to your point, uh, with the building block series, what's great about it is, like you said, once you learn the building blocks and you've gone through all 10 of them, you know, you're gonna be able to make just about anything after that. You know, it really, it teaches you everything you need to know and teaches you kind of how to solve the problems as you go. You might run into features that you didn't do in the building blocks, but you can think through it and solve the problem by using some of the techniques we show. And I think it's also great for anybody, you know, whatever your skill level is or age is, you know, you, you might know how to program and how to run machines, but still check out the building blocks because there might be stuff in there that you don't know or that you'll learn a new technique for and it's really great. Awesome, awesome. And over here, we still have the XS Tech router.
See it cutting on the other side? It actually cut one of the fins already. And again, on the screen, if you look here, you can see where the pink lines are is going to be where the tool has already cut. So it kind of shows you a preview of what's already been done also, which is great. So I'll do I'll do something just to show you. It's something that I like because uh, my son Nathaniel, he's nine years old. He has autism. So when I first brought the machine, I was I was kind of nervous, right? Because I I didn't want him to get cut. I didn't want him to cut his finger off or anything like that. But what's really cool is like this thing just this thing just lifts up. Now watch what happens when I lift it up. I'm gonna wait till it's not immature. You saw how quick that thing stopped. It just stopped. Nice safety feature right there. And then I can just put it down. And I think we just have to press press start. start. Yep. 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 But you see that? It was nice and safe. I just like picked it up. Boom. And then we're still machining over there. Check it out. Oh, that part looks beautiful now. So most parts, you can most of the building blocks, you can actually machine them in less than 10 minutes, right? And uh, a lot of them, like because of the speeds and fades that we were using before, because of the machines they were on, there we were programming them at about 4,000 RPMs. But now we can double the RPMs. We can actually take a bigger cut and get after it. So most of the ones at nine minutes, we'll be actually machining them at like three minutes. Right, so it's going to be much quicker on these machines. Um, but this particular part, because of all the 3D surfacing and stuff, it just takes time because once you start surfacing, you're just taking like a 5,000 step over with a ball end mill, and you just take that time to make it absolutely perfect. And that's what we're doing. So, what I think would be uh, really awesome is I'll bring my boy Dave Cox in. Dave's going to talk about the promo, about the deals, 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 incredible deals for you guys. We don't take a cut. It's all about giving you the greatest deals and just crazy deals, right? So Dave's going to come, and while he's talking, we'll keep looking at the machines and getting back to him, and then we'll look at the machines when he's done. Awesome. All you, brother. Killer job, you guys. Really killer job. And that excess tech might not have horsepower, but it's probably got pony power, right? Pony power. Pony power. All right. It's got some mean pony power. These are aggressive ponies getting after it in plastics and wood and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do right now is during this promo session, we're going to do a giveaway. All right. So all you got to do right now in the comments below, just say, I want to machine greatness. Just write in, I want to machine greatness. And we're going to give you a deuce on swag bag right at the end of this thing. Shaney's going to come up and give me a name. So start typing in now because a winner's going to come quick. All right, let's talk about Doosan. You know they're doing 25 to 30 percent off of the machine tools. Let's go to titansfordoosan.com to get that deal. And let's talk about these training packages, all right? Titan just went over everything that's included from the Michitoyo measurement tools to the Kenna metal tools that are in here, all that kind of stuff. So talking about the DEM 4000, you're going to get the DEM 4000, the 22 by 16 vertical machining center, your Kenna metal starter kit for the building blocks. You can do every building block that's pictured right here. You're going to get the Blazer Swiss Lube coolant package, and that comes with that free analysis so that it's the liquid tool analysis so you can really start to figure out what's going on with your shop, right? Where do you need these kind of things? And they're going to come and look at your application and make sure that you know exactly what you got. All right, you're going to get the Heimer Universal 3D Sensor Edge, the Mitch Toy Inspections Tools, and the Shunk Grip Vice Soft Jaws and Accessory Kit, and Mastercam Educational Suite with the post processing for a year, and that's $55,200. All right, when we talk about the lathe tools, the Leo 1600 that we don't have on our floor just yet, 
but you can get it on yours for 46,200. That comes with a lot of the same stuff, right? You get the Kenna Metal starter kit for the Rocket Series. You're gonna get walked through that specifically on what to do, how to program, design, and cut it. And you still get the Blazer Swiss Lube, you get the Heimer Centro Coax, Michitoya inspection tools, and Mastercam. Again, that's 46,200. And Tormach. Tormach is doing great work with that XS Tech router. That's an easy way to get into the industry to start figuring out exactly how these things work, right? I can go and then take the building blocks kit, I can run through CAD, I can run through CAM, and then I can jump on that XS Tech router and I can make the Titan 1M all the way through the 10M. I can start doing those things and really get an understanding of how this works. So that Tormach is $500 off and you're gonna to go to titansofcnc.com slash promo and you're gonna use code BOOM at checkout for the Tormach. All right, so I'm waiting for Shaney to come up right now. She's supposed to have a winner for me. I don't see her. So why don't we bring Titan back and then I'm gonna jump back in after he's done telling you what's up next. Shaney, come on out. Ah, uh, so we got the XS Tech router over here. It is an actual mill. Uh, not sure why they call it a router because that is a mill. Just look at the mill. It's full CNC, boom, crazy. You make a maker space. It's great for kids, great for people that actually just can't afford to jump up to a premium machine, boom. And uh, look at this part. This, this is beautiful right here. You know, once we get through the building blocks, like another you know, when it comes to a three axis mill, we actually have a fixture series. It's like a fixture plate that locks down, you machine it, it locks down to your table, and you fix, uh, get these sub plates on. The sub plates then have parts that go on the sub plate, and the sub plates go on to these ID expansion pins. Just a great, amazing system. But it's like, let's go through the building blocks, not in two years, not in four years. Let's get through them in a couple months. Let's, let's go up and then get into fixturing and then get into just some crazy contouring parts. Let's truly teach our, our workforce real knowledge, real skills, and uh, give them a system where they learn through repetition. You know, if you, if, you, if you only make three parts in a semester and you're paying all that money, like, what does it teach you? You have to run many parts. You need to run a hundred different parts and you have to do different things so you have the calmness to be able to control and run it efficiently and make money for the company that you work for or that you will work for. And that's what we're teaching you, legitimate education. And uh, they, I'm just gonna let you guys know CNC Expert is coming. It is our certifications program, and CNC Expert is going to change the entire industry. And, and why do I say that? Because the biggest companies in the world are calling us, asking us, when is that happening, and when can we hire your people from the academy? They're already hiring them, but they, they can't wait for that certification. So, boom, it's coming. That's like next level, next level. All right. All right, let the cat out of the bag. Right. So we do have a winner in the I Want a Machine Greatness Contest, and we're giving you that Deuce on Swag Bag. So our winner is Craig Cash. All right, good job, Craig. All of you guys jumped in there, started putting that in the comments, and Machine Greatness is Deuce on's tagline, and it's for a reason, right? Our tagline, right, we, Titan always says, let's rise to greatness together. And when we partnered with Deuce on and I found out their tagline is Machine Greatness, how much better could I think that be? I had it better first, I'm just saying. <laughs> we had it better first, of course, of course. So, all right, we talked about what's coming up next. Yeah. Awesome. You know, I think that. Uh, thank you, brother. You got it. Nicole, thank you very much. You can come over here. So, maybe just for the last uh, few minutes, we'll just uh, let the machines run. We'll just stop talking, let the machines run. One thing I'll say about the, the XS Tech router. This is doing 3D surfacing, right? It is also, like check it out. It actually, now you can see, uh, if you actually look at the side and then you actually look inside the machine, 
Now it's actually the rocket. It was just like 90 degrees, but now it's making the cuts and it's slowly curving upwards. So um, we're gonna get off camera, go ahead, couple minutes, just watch the two machines work. Boom, taking education to the highest level. Nicole, great job. Thank you. Boom. See you guys later.